previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When 
and Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done, but after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel... <sighs> I think I need to lie down.
I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. <sighs> this is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge. Graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this? Um, here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad, too. You've had to cope with much worse, I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. 
There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Doesn't matter how painful it is. You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right, but can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. <sighs> this light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. We were so close to making our break last night. Now... Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird.
<laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said, heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. for Rachel's light show. Better get... Hey. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? <laughs> I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I don't know. I bet there's like, one other chick in Australia who's super trustworthy. No chance. You're one in a hundred infinities, Chloe Price. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That 
My real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here, for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, I... how do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. cares if the stars are dead. As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right.
I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... <laughs> the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. Plus, he likes me, and he owes me one from yesterday. I can do this. Ugh, come on, dude. Pick up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually gonna cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap, do you? What's the problem? 
I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? We'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Have I ever watered that? Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Please welcome Sergeant Alex Keller with the Arcadia Bay Police What do I want the record to show? Sergeant Keller, drug use in Arcadia Bay is on the rise, is that right? Unfortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Heroin? You'd uh, think a small town like Arcadia Bay would be safe from things like that. Well, the problem is these drugs don't appeal to any exclusive demographic. All kinds Upsetting of people Sudden and old, mysterious rich, absence of Chloe Price. So spread to any community. Does the ABPD have any leads on where the hell Figures. is from? I can't discuss any ongoing investigations. Um, working what? With the nice to see my work is appreciated. Right on. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you. A further layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. Thou art an idiot. Hang in there, Skip. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Sports cars are really good for... <laughs> flames. <laughs> Lots of flames. No way. 
mom actually sold her ring for $300. David really is moving in. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. Uh, can I just give that to Mom again for Mother's Day? So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? I wonder who gave this to Mom. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. Lots of washcloths, no towel. I truly hate Seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. No awesome pirate towel. hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. Why? Girls, children. 
All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> 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 you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line. And I'm sorry. That's it? That's your apology? Well, now, I thought that- What about sorry for not trusting me in the first place? And convincing my mom to mistrust me too? That's not David's fault. What about sorry for calling me a loser? And always talking to me like I just came out of juvie? What about sorry? for lecturing me all the time when you're fucking no one. You're not my dad. Who the hell gave you that right? What about sorry for moving in with my mom against my wishes? Chloe. Chloe, I know you don't 
like me. I know you think I don't understand you, but I do. I've been meaning to show you something. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I 
I just need... Stan Stanwyck here, and we've got a special treat for all you Looks Sunday like someone Monday tried to patch this there. thing up. Live Sometime before Studios, I was born. Skip Matthews, lead singer of At this Set, point, I think that ancient duct fans. tape is better than Say anything fans, I can Skip. do. <clears throat> better leave it be. Hi, fans. Now, Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's true. Keeping the kitties safe by day and melting their faces off by night. That the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> this thing is yeah, going to the something fuck like that. up. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from Pisshead. And if you haven't heard these guys yet, what I want you to do is crank Maybe. that stereo up as loud as it goes. <gasps> if anyone complains, what do you tell them? Uh, Pisshead rules? Sick. Nailed it. Hmm, what do I see? Oh, I know. Much better. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. like a deadly electric glove. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. should help keep shit distributed. <laughs> well, fuck. Go back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Oh, of course. Please, I need you.
Okay. Junkyard queen. Where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass too. That shirt looks awesome too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey. Not sure if you saw. But someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. I, she's a friend, an old family friend. <laughs> This chick doesn't have any family, or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> No way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one 
is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Ah! Ah! Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Damon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? N nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She 
he was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well 